Psalms, the 32nd chapter in the 8th verse. It says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eyes. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with a bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou should go. You know, and you think about a horse when you put the bridle in his mouth and you pull a string, hallelujah, and he goes whichever way you turn him. And the Lord is letting us know this morning, some of us, some of you, praise God, you feel like you're at a stagnated position or you might feel like you're stuck and you don't know what your next move is or which direction, hallelujah, you should go, even with your life, even with your ministry. But God is saying that he is the one that will instruct us. He is the one that will instruct you. He is the one that will teach you in which way you, the, which way you should go. Sometimes in life, hallelujah, even as we um, go through this journey with the Lord, sometimes we feel like we're in a stuck position, we're in a standstill position, and we don't know which direction, hallelujah, glory be to God, that we should go. But if we continue to seek the Lord, hallelujah, and eventually our wheels will just not be spinning, 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 but eventually, amen, our wheels will grab gravel, amen, will grab leverage, and then men and begin to move, just like a car, when those wheels are just spinning, 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 then eventually when you get out that stuck position, it begins to move forward, and the Lord is saying today that we are just to continue to keep our eyes on him, continue to look into the Lord, hallelujah, and he is going to guide us in which direction that we should go. God is going to continue to teach you. I don't know who this is for this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But God is saying, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Amen. God, hallelujah, sees all things. God is all knowing. God is all seeing. Praise God. And I used to always tell my kids, we can only see down the street as far as our eyes can see. But God can see down the street and around the corner and around that corner. Hallelujah. So God is saying that his eyes is on you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And he is the one that's going to give you instructions. Hallelujah. He is the one that's going to continue, amen, to lead and guide you. But you got to be attentive to the Spirit of God. You got to be attentive, amen, to the guidance of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't you try to do it. Don't lean. He says, lean not to your own understanding, but commit thy ways unto the Lord. And he will always, ha, hallelujah, he will also bring it to pass. So we have to commit our ways to God and let him bring it to pass. Like the message on yesterday, when you done all to stand, stand. And God is stand, saying, if you feeling like you're stuck, praise God, just commit it unto him, knowing that God's going to instruct you. If you don't know what your next move is, just stand still and wait. God said he has your next move, praise God, in his hands. Move in God's timing. Move as God leads you to move. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm thanking God. Hallelujah for this. Praise God. Because, you know, it seemed like this pandemic. It's not even moving. Hallelujah. But we got to know that God's eye is on the situation. God's eyes is on us. Praise God. God's eyes is on you. Hallelujah. And he is the one that's going to instruct us. Amen. And he's going to lead us what to do, when to do, how to do it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So be encouraged today and know that God said he will instruct us. Hallelujah. For our next move. And his eyes is on you. I love you and may heaven forever smile upon you. It's our and my prayer. 